it, it's valuable to a guy to have a girl that hasn't had as many experiences because it lowers your value the more people you slept with. Oh, this is a Pandora's box. But what if there were some secrets about biology that they don't teach you in school that would completely flip the narrative? Let me preface this by saying, I have no dog in this fight. I have no kids, and I don't particularly care what anybody else does with their body. But you know me. As I'm out here looking for weird scientific facts, sometimes I come across some very interesting tidbits. And one of them is called telegony, or microchimerism. In a nutshell, Animal breeders have always noticed that if a female is mated with a male, later offspring can have the same traits as that first male, even if it has a different father. So basically, the genetics of every male that a female mates with, if he shares his genetics with her, can alter her genetics permanently, as well as subsequent offspring. An interesting early example of this is Lord Morton's mare from 100 years ago. Now, this mare, this horse, was bred with a zebra at one point, and then later on professionally bred with another horse. And that offspring from the horse actually had zebra stripes. Now, a hundred years ago, you know, Darwin and quite a few other people, they knew that this happened. This was seen in uh, animal breeding. This is Revisiting Telegony. Offspring inherit an acquired characteristic of their mother's previous mate by Angela Crean. The authors suggest that we need to revisit telegony as a valid biological mechanism because there are, in fact, molecular and physiological mechanisms that have the potential to mediate telegony. And before all the smooth brains jump in and go, Well, that's not what I learned in high school when they showed me the chart with the flies. Well, shit moves on. We learned some things. This has been around for a very long time, and just recently, more evidence has been coming out scientifically that proves that this happens in humans. This could have great ramifications for a child's genetic health, as well as the health of every female. Here's a paper called Microchimerism in the Human Brain, More Question Than Answers, by William Chan. They find that recently a group reported the presence of microchimerism in the human and that our data also suggests a lower prevalence of brain microchimerism in women without Alzheimer's disease than women with neurological disease. These findings suggest that microchimerism could sometimes influence health and disease of the brain. These data would seem to suggest that somebody's sexual partners can have a ramification on whether they develop Alzheimer's. Now, this is a very understudied area of epigenetics due to its political ramifications. Now, once again, I don't have any personal opinions on this, but I am very curious of why this isn't actually taught, even though ongoing research is proving it out. To me, this is akin to being made aware of STDs. It's just sexual education, and if there is a chance that people can develop neurological disorders and health disorders like Alzheimer's, you should probably be made aware of that, shouldn't you? 